About a year ago, I made a video on how to add alerts to your TikTok live stream using Tickfinity. Since it's been a while, TikTok actually added this feature into TikTok Live Studio. So I'm going to show you how to use it. It's really simple. And without further ado, let's hop right into it. So as I said, TikTok actually added this feature into TikTok Live Studio just recently. So now you can actually add alerts for follows, gifts and subs all into TikTok Live Studio without using any third party software. It's really easy. All you have to do, obviously, is get access to TikTok Live Studio. Once you do that, you can just choose your scenes, either portrait or landscape, it doesn't matter, and then go to add source over here, scroll down until you see alert, click on alert over here, click on add, and then you have the alert set up. So now you can actually do how many alerts you want for how long. If you want to have it for three seconds, you can do that right over here. You can do uh, alert parries, which means that new alerts will replace all the previous ones. If you want that, you can en enable that right here. And then you can obviously activate the alert itself. So if you scroll down, you have the follower alert, you have the gift alert and the subscription alert. If you click on that, it has the same exact options. So you can choose what's the text that shows up on the alert itself and also what sound plays when that specific alert happens. You can add whatever sound like there's three preset sounds, but you can also add a custom sound by clicking on the cog wheel and then going into the upload button and uploading your own custom sound right here, which is really, really nice. You can also make a trigger that, you know, it works, for example, if there's minimum new followers, for example, five, and then it only shows up if there's five new followers. If you want to have it uh, show up every single new follow, you can have it set up by just leaving a default on one. Same thing for gift, same thing for subscription. And then if you click on preview, you can see how it looks uh, how it looks like right over here by just seeing the default preview. You can also go to the appearance on top and then change the customization over here. You can apply a certain theme, which they actually have templates of these themes right over here. So you can choose uh, out of their already existing presets. And then if you don't wanna do the theme, you can do customize and then change if you wanted to show up beside text, over text, and then change the colors and the images and all of that over here. There's a bunch of different customization you can do. And once you do all of that, you simply click on add source and it will be added right over here. So now you can just place it wherever you want. I, for example, want to have it on top, leave it there. You can lock it and you have your alert set up inside TikTok Live Studio without using any third party software. And that's basically it. That's how you can set up TikTok Live Studio alerts. It's super simple. It doesn't take you more than like a few minutes. If you did like this video, make sure to drop a like. It would mean the world. If you haven't already seen my other TikTok Live Studio guides, make sure to check this one right over here. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye bye.